guys, welcome back to our channel, and today we're going to show you something pretty awesome. Sorry, it's been a wee while since the last video, and um, we've got something amazing from DocM and Methods here. It's something DocM showcased in one of his recent Hermitcraft videos, and it's a player detector. So let's go test it out, and then I'll show you how to build it. It's a really quick build. DocM showed off how to build it in his video, but after watching it a few times, I wasn't too clear, so I'm making this video just to try and clear things up a wee bit and hopefully help out anyone who's searching for a way to build an easy hidden player detector. So let's go check it out. So here we are in survival mode in our creative test world, and our player detector is just underneath this platform. And if it detects us, that redstone map should come on. Here we go. There we are, and if you haven't guessed by the sound, it's a puffer fish detector, and in fact it's probably in the title of this video. So this can be incredibly useful for doors on bases, or lane traps for people, or anything I guess, where you need to detect a player there, and look how simple it is there. It is super simple, and Previous ways of building the pufferfish player detector have stopped working in 115, so this seems to be the only way to build a reliable player detector that's that small and that hidden. So no more strings, tripwire hooks, or pressure plates. So anywhere where you've previously used a pressure plate or string and tripwire hook to detect a player, then this could be perfect. Even put it behind walls. It works anywhere within this orange area, and that's vertically as well. So as long as you're in sort of the binding box between these platforms and including the platforms, then it'll work. So let's get on to how to build it. The things we're going to need are in this chest, and um, we're going to need some redstone dust. It doesn't really matter how much redstone dust actually. Because that's just that just takes the signal once the detector triggers. So use as much as you need to get the signal where you want. Put in two rails, two minecarts, one slab, and pufferfish, obviously. Another bucket of water, fence post, a gold pressure plate, and get building blocks, they don't need to be glass, I'm just going to use glass, and then this stuff is the extra stuff I've used for this design in particular, so um, the armor stand is used for testing it, because pufferfish actually get triggered by armor stands as well as players, so you can use the armor stand for testing your build, so let's get on to the actual build. Okay, let's build a platform for our player detector. So I'm just building it up in the air for no particular reason. So we've got one building block and a slab in front of it. And then we're going to wall this in to put our buffer fish in place. So building block, slab, then we want the fence post in front here with the pressure plate here and we're going to put our bucket of water in here. I think we could just put the puffer fish directly but we'll put the puffer fish in that water. Okay let's put our building blocks over the top of this and our rails on top then our minecarts. Now, I think I said earlier, you don't need the armor stand except for testing, but that's not actually true. You need the armor stand to make the puffer fish blow up and end up in the minecart. So we have the old puffer fish comes to the back here, and then we'll drop the minecart on it. One puffer fish. There we go. She's in her minecart now. 
button is. So this we can if the armor's done, copper fish should shrink die. We can actually should be able to nudge the night guard slightly. So it doesn't doesn't really matter. A bit of couple more blocks here so the night guard doesn't move anymore. Uh, you can leave it like this, but I like to put another water source in here above the slab. And then we can fill this in and put for fish one tonight. And take away almost all the other blocks. And that is our completed detector. So let's check it out, make sure it works. So we'll stick some redstone down here. There you go, the minecart sort of writes itself after a while. So it's not going to move. There's our little puffer fish hiding in the minecart. And if we place a redstone lamp, just as a indicator here. And then if we drop an armor stand, we drop an armor stand here. It's big. He increases the weight on the cool pressure plate, and that in turn increases the redstone output and turns on the lamp. So, if you want to use this, remember that this redstone drops down to a strength of one here. It only starts at a two, so it drops down to a one. So you're going to want to stick a repeater in there. Well, actually. You want to stick your repeater in here because the minecart when the puffer fish isn't inflated, the minecart itself gives this first piece of redstone a strength of one. What do you see? So the puffer fish deflates, the, so this remains a strength of one all the time, so you need your repeater two blocks away, and then you can take your signal wherever you want. So guys, thanks for watching, and please come back, we've got a good storage tutorial series coming up, where we'll go right from the very basics up to sorting and storing every single type of item in Minecraft, and that's not as simple as it sounds, given the different things to stack, and or stack in different sizes, and a lot of things are difficult to filter out from the rest of your items. So we'll we'll got part of that recorded. We'll start getting it up soon, and we'll get the rest of it recorded very shortly. We end up with a full multi-item storage system that filters everything exactly where you want it. So yeah, please check back. Please hit subscribe and like and all that nice YouTube jazz. Because our channel is relatively new and we want to get up in the algorithm a little bit. We're still pretty small so we don't earn anything from this channel at all. So any like and subscription really helps us out. As we try and make this thing a bit bigger. I started this channel with my son a few months ago. He got me into Minecraft last year. And he loves making these videos. So I just want to keep making a few guys. I do redstone tutorials and me and him just do a bunch of fun building and stick the recordings up here so if you just want to see my father and son have a bit of fun check back for those if you up here already and if you want some more technical redstone videos check back for those as well and hit subscribe to be notified all right see you guys next time